What's up, everybody? It is Lone Wolves. How are y'all doing today? It is a Monday night, I believe. I just got off work a little while ago, and now I finally had so much stuff I had to take care of around the house that uh, it took me forever. I've been working until just now. I mean, that's like four after after I worked, or God, I just worked a lot today. Anyways, today we're going to go over the Police Simulator Patrol Officer. I've done a couple of videos on this. Uh, I've done one that described, you know, the issues that some of the developers and stuff should be working on. And I've also done another one of a undercover one. It should be up shortly if it's not already up there. If it is, I will put it up in the right-hand corner over there. But we decided that we was going to do a little different today. We're actually going to go into just being a patrol officer. This one, we're going to get put back the, uh, we're not going to use an unmarked car or anything like that. We're going to use an actual marked vehicle and be in the proper uniform and everything. It's just how I think would be a good thing to do because I'm trying to come up with different ideas on how to play this game. This game's been out for a little while and a lot of people have played it, but I don't think they've done it in situations like I have, which is doing it from like, one, I did a detective side. Now I'm going to do the actual patrol officer on this one. So on the patrol officer, we'll be answering all kinds of different calls and stuff like that. We'll answer almost every single call if we uh, we can. I don't know if we'll answer the drug ones and stuff like that because it seems more like a detective one or a gang you know, unit or something like that. But I think we're just going to kind of wing it because as an officer, like I said, I'm not a police officer myself. But just what I believe a police officer would probably do is to take all the calls and stuff like that that they're supposed to. And just things like that. But anyways, I think we're going to have to get on into the game then. But yeah, it's been, it's been a crazy couple of days trying to get everything situated. I know I haven't been uploading as often as I probably should be. And I do apologize about that, but I have so much going on right now that it's really difficult to get into the mood, to be honest, to uh, do these recordings, you know, especially if I don't get as big of a result as I usually do. But anyways, I'm going to, you know, just push on and continue putting these videos up whenever I get a chance to. I have, I just started a new part, a new job, or I changed jobs within my, uh, my job that I do, or my my work so I have to do a lot more physical and mental math and stuff like that in the job that I'm doing now so that's why it's taking me a little while to get all my editing out and everything like I said I'm the only one doing the editing but anyways let's get over here and go through here see we've done I think we did Brixton last time I mean this is starting to get really high in drug areas or uh, high criminal areas but we've already done this one so we're gonna switch over to this one this time so we got a few here and stuff like that. So like I said, we're going to do the patrol officer one on this one. I'm going to actually be a patrol officer, basically. Uh, taking all kinds of different calls and stuff like that. And, you know, we're not going to do the crime scene and stuff like that because that's not a police officer's job. Really, it's for them to split everything apart, but that's usually a detective's job. <coughs> excuse me. But uh, anyway, excuse me. I got a little bit of a cold. So, what we're going to do, I don't know if we want to do a night one or we're going to do a day one. I don't think we've done a night one, so we'll probably go ahead and do a night one. We have a really small area that we're going to be doing, apparently, though. So, let's uh, let's move it up to about 40 minutes or so. Let's get into it, shall we? But yeah, like I said, we're going to be trying to get as many as stuff. We're going to actually dress as a patrol officer. So we're already in the uniform, looks like it. I don't really like having the hat and everything on me. So I don't think I'll change anything on here. Let's see. He's He has everything he's supposed to. No toll belt. We do want a toll belt. Okay, there we go. No hat. I really don't like doing the hats. So we're just going to be this officer right here. 
Everything's already set up. This is what a patrol officer usually would wear right here. Just this plain uniform and stuff like that. Not like the undercover ones. The undercover ones look so much better. So let's see what they say. This area has high criminal activity. Ready yourself to show some police presence. We I can take that. Support. Who's available? So this is one of our jobs that we would actually have to do. I'll handle it. But we are going to use... I guess we'll use this one. Cause I didn't really get everything set up. A witness reported a stolen vehicle. Who can Locating the vehicle is currently not possible. We're gonna go out of that one. We're gonna go into this one right here. It's probably not the one we're gonna actually be using. It's not fully marked or anything like that. We got a couple of seconds to see if I can get everything thrown together on here real quick. Like I said, I want to make it into. Uh, the actual patrol cars, most cop cars and stuff like that, they're fully, oh, <laughs> not supposed to do that, into the garage. Did some damage to me on that one, whoops. Alright, let's see, we're going to have to change it on Mark White. We're going to leave it, that one right there, we need to change the skin. We're going to change it to the actual police nightwing edition police blue we're just gonna go with this one right here because that that's what a patrol officer would actually probably use is a marked one so we're gonna use that and head out all right we need to get to that wreck which I don't know if we're gonna make it or not There we go. See if we can get there in time. Gotta turn our lights on. Not a very respectful cop right there. <laughs> Alright. We'll get there in just in time, I think. So this is what I would think a police officer probably would do as a patrol officer. So we're going to shut off this area. Let's see. Yeah, this whole entire everything is going to have to be shut down, apparently. Because it's on both lanes. All right, let's get out and do what our job's supposed to be doing. Okay, I guess it didn't fix our vehicle when we went in there. Well, let's get in here and do this. Like I said, we'll do the calls outs and stuff like that when we're supposed to. We just can't do it right now. We was already on a call. So, let's get everything secured. He wants to ask some questions and stuff like that. <laughs> They'll run out of these before long. Alright. No one right there. I probably think there's going to be some drunk drivers or something on this one. I really think that's what's going to happen. There we go. That's been secure. Alright, so we got to go around and make sure my vehicle should have everything blocked off so no one should pass us through there. So I'm not going to do any of that stuff. But we're going to have to go ahead and go through and talk to these people and see... 
who has insurance and who doesn't and all that stuff. Yeah, it's bromatellite. <laughs> and he has a expired registration, looks like it, maybe. I don't know, we'll have to look at it. So what we'll do is focus on them and see what we have. Expired ID status expired. This is a William Aiden. He looks like expired license and stuff like that. Or ID. Let's see what we get out of this guy. Let me know what you saw. I don't understand what happened, officer. How do you not understand what happened? You just got in a wreck. Well, we gotta talk to them first. I don't know why I went Let me know that what you one. Saw. I'm still in shock. I need to get my head right. Yeah. They really need to come up with different lines or something. Tell me what you saw. I'm still in shock. I need to get my head right. Well, I'm going to guess, though. I'm going to guess that this guy back here is going to be the one that caused the accident. Him. The guy right there, possibly. Or him. Because this person is just in the middle, so... We'll have to talk to them, get in more depth talking, and see if there's anything uh, that Show me you your need to check. And car insurance, please. Okay, officer. There you go. But this is what I would think a patrol, uh, actual patrol officer, would be taking care of. It's these kind of situations and stuff like that, unlike the detectives and stuff like that, that will sometimes react to stuff like they're supposed to. You know, like car thieves. If you see it, you're supposed to act on it and stuff like that. Our crime scenes are mostly for the detectives. To close off the scenes, you know, cops are supposed to do that. But I'm the only one playing this right now, so it makes it a little bit difficult for me to do that. So, let's see. His ID's expired, but doesn't like any other issues. What, what did that say? Something I didn't see. What is that? Uh, extortion? Extortion, okay. Parking in a handicap zone, jaywalking, ignoring red lights. He's not. He does. He hasn't done anything really, really bad except for that one right there. But we can't arrest him. He has no warrant or anything. I guess he took care of it already. Oh, white powder underneath their nose, huh? So in that case, I would definitely be like, I'm gonna have to do a drug Don't test, a test on you. See if you've been driving under the influence of drugs. Uh oh. We got one. We're not going to arrest him right now, though. We're going to take care of everything else first. But see, the only reason I was able to do that, because he had white powder underneath his nose. So that gives me an automatic idea that I can do a drug test on him. I'm going to go ahead and do the DUI. I know it doesn't show that he's done any drinking or anything. I don't know if an officer could actually do that, but we're not going to because I don't think we could actually do that because we didn't see the accident so we can't really expect much but he does have white powder underneath his nose which gives us proper cause which we tested him and he has stuff so pretty sure he's gonna be arrested but let's go ahead and talk let to me the rest have a look of these at your people. license and registration please i Here haven't go, checked officer. her car yet either let's do this real quick she doesn't have any insurance on it, doesn't look like it. Invalid insurance status. She has a driver's license. She has a gun permit. She has no warrants, open warrants, or anything like that. Aggravated assault. That's a pretty big issue, but no warrants or anything, so. Alright. But she will get wrote up for a ticket, most likely. So we're going to also do a drug, the DUI, okay. just because just there's an accident. The I believe alcohol. we have the proper authority to do that, just to test, to see if they have anything wrong. Like I said, we're just going by what I, I think. In this universe, we're allowed to do any illegal drug substances. tests and all that stuff while they're on the side of the road, because they had a car accident, so we have to make sure all of them are okay. So the, she has... Insurance, I believe, was the only thing that I picked up that she needs. I can't even see a tag or anything on here. We're going to go by what this thing says. She has valid everything. That's her car. Looks like a four-door valid. Invalid insurance status. So this would be hefty on her. If she doesn't have any insurance, that's going to suck for her. She's going to get blamed for all of it. So we're going to do an ID, ID of insurance check on this guy real quick. Here you go, officer. 
see he has everything. That's a stolen ID. Yep, that's a stolen ID right there. So he's going to jail too. All right, dude. You're probably going to jail. That's a stolen ID. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a tag read on him real quick. See if that shows me who he is exactly. So his name's Rodrigo something. It is his vehicle, but he has a stolen ID. So that's that's a arrestable offense. So he's gonna have to be placed under arrest because he stole the ID of somebody. So I need to go back and search this right here, see if there's anything else that I need to look at. Other than stolen ID, he's going to jail for that. This guy is under the influence of drugs. So that's two people we're going to end up having to take to jail. But we're going to go ahead and finish everything else first. Get that score up. Walk around. Get all this on there. Arrest him. <laughs> he's under the influence of drugs. Man, what car accidents happen, you know? It was just a civil accident, and we already got, like, felonies. Get this car here. Get all that. I'd probably be taking a lot more time on this, but we got... We don't have really that long of a shift, so we need to kind of... Boogie really quick. Get everything... Get some more action and stuff into this game instead of just normal... Normal stuff. Okay, that's all good. Back up. Get over here. Got a broken window, looks like it. So we got two people we're going to have to arrest, apparently. That should be... Yeah, right there. Alright, so here comes the fun part. <laughs> we'll give him the accident this report. This is your accident report. This is an accurate report. Thank you. And now I'm going to have to arrest him for a stolen ID. You're being arrested for carrying a stolen ID. Move to the sidewalk, please. Please, no. <laughs> One of those things, dude. I'm sorry, but what was you thinking? Still an ID. I have to search you. So we are going through our searches and stuff like that. So we find anything else. He has a handgun and a switchblade. And I don't think he can legally have those. Well, he has drive he has a gun permit, but he has an illegal switchblade on him. So he's going to be charged with that also. I have to arrest you for carrying a switchblade with you. It's against the law. Please step to the sidewalk. Please All this would actually go that. into the accident report probably, but we're just going to go over that a little bit. So... He got anything else in here that I'm supposed to write him up for? Because I think everything else is fine. But he is going to be please cooperate. I'm taking you taken to, the police, to the police station, probably. Put him inside the car right now. I have to go through and do a search on his vehicle real quick. Then I have to repair my car. All right, bud. Watch out for your head. Now I gotta do this guy next. He has powder underneath his nose and we tested him and there you go. <coughs> Alright, Bob. Here's your accident, Here's your report. accident report. That will be very helpful. Thank you, officer. You don't thank me yet, sir. You're getting arrested also. You've committed a violation by driving under the influence of narcotics. You're being arrested. Please move on to the sidewalk. No, don't. Please, officer. Sorry, but you're the one that decided to do a bad Put your hands decision. Up slowly, please. So we're going to go right going here and do you. all the searches, and we'll test him all the other stuff, see anything else we need to write him up for. Handgun. I think he has a legal handgun, don't he? 
Yeah, he has a, and he has an ID that's out also. So we're gonna issue him another one. And dude, here is a ticket for carrying an expired ID. It will cost you between seventy-five. He's gonna have a really bad time. Fine. I hate to say that. Now I need to be on my way. No, you're going to jail, bud. I'm taking you to the police station. Well, they are going to jail right now. I think she's the only one that got out of this, and I'm and I still haven't Watch searched your the vehicles yet. I gotta do a search on their vehicle. As a patrol officer, you would have the right to do this, and you write what all the inventory you found and stuff like that. I believe, and you would hand it off to you know the detectives if they have to do some kind of follow up or something like that. But it looks like one of them two are gonna be blamed for the accident. One had an expired ID, one was under the influence. And there's a lot of stuff going on here right now. Looks like he doesn't have any, anything else in here that I gotta write him up for. Ugh. Pocket watch. Give him a little search right here. And it's a good thing he doesn't have any more charges to put on him. Not at the moment, anyways. Oh, yeah, I know. I should go back to them. I will eventually. See, the car is a little too close for me to do a search, I believe. I'm going to say there's nothing in there, though. No items found. Stolen ID. I mean. How do you not know it's your ID, though? That's my biggest question. How can you get your ID confused with someone else's? Your picture's on yours. <laughs> Ooh, he's going to get charged for anything else either. One ounce. If he has something on here, then he, then he will, but I don't think he does. And I bet there's something in this trunk right here. Ain't nothing about it right now, though. All right. Okay, here's your accident report. Oh wow, such an extensive report. Yeah, and I'll probably let her go after I remove some of these vehicles. Yeah, I remove the debris and stuff like that. Now my responsibility to call. I have a vehicle tow truck here, here that needs towing. I need a wrecker at my current location, please. Sure. A wrecker is en route to your location. I really wish these guys could go around me. That would be way better. And I usually don't want to have to do this, but I guess I don't have a choice. You have the right to remain silent. Any statement you make may be used for or against you in a court of law. You have the right to have a competent and independent counsel, preferably of your own choice. And if you cannot afford the services of a counsel, the government will provide you one. Do you understand these rights? Yeah, I already read his rights, and they both have, so we'll, uh. I think that guy's feeding. That guy's tail, tail light out. But we're not worried about that right now. We're still clearing up the accident here. Better get out of here, I guess. Good to see you again, officer. All right. She didn't have nothing else We're on done. her, so you I'm gonna let her now. go. Have a good day. I don't know if she'll get in her vehicle or what. As I figured would happen. I have a car here that needs towing. Please send a tow truck to my current location. A wrecker has already been dispatched to your location. Uh, I hate these right here. Turn around. Turn around. It's going to take a second for this truck to get by and everything. Just on the nerves a little bit. 
I don't understand why I can't just turn right now because it has too, ve too many vehicles next to it and everything. Okay, it disappeared, so. Yes, I can switch this to accident. So that I will actually move like they're supposed to. Then get that out of there and I can do actually one last search on that vehicle. Then I can call somebody to come pick these guys up. <coughs> Alright, let's do the search on this last vehicle right here. Then I will send it off probably. So that's it. And then we can call it. Good. I have a vehicle here for towing. Can you send a tow truck to my current location? A wrecker will be there in a couple of minutes. So we're done with this area, basically, because it says we're, we completed everything that we needed to. Let him get done with that. Turn off our lights. Probably need to see the closest vehicle to us right there so we'll do a u-turn real quick and we may switch to a different vehicle what I would actually do myself this is good one for accidents and stuff like that but I don't plan on us just dealing with the accidents and stuff like that let's actually drive like a proper officer turn our blinkers and stuff on I don't know which vehicle I'm going to change he almost ran a red light. He didn't even yield. <laughs> As an officer, we have to follow the laws just like everyone else. Wait till these people get through. We might have to be able to do one or two more call outs. I guess it's about the only thing we're going to do. I see you guys drinking in public over here, but. I gotta take these restees to jail first. Whoopsie, ran a red light. Not really. It really run. Run one. <laughs> I think it's on the other side, maybe? Wouldn't be driving a little crazy here because there's gonna be a place over here. Officer place, maybe? <laughs> Did I mark something wrong? Or was crossed the road, I think. Whoopsie. Gotta learn to drive. <laughs> I usually don't do what I'm about to do, but we kinda don't want to make this boring. We kinda want to get some more action in beforehand. Yep, that's what I figured is on this side. Alright. Get down and escort these guys in. It's time to take you to the police cell. Do this quickly. Then we'll probably switch our vehicle to a uh, different one. We're going to mark it and everything, make it a marked vehicle. But we just got to go through and change things around a little bit. First, we need to get these guys in here. Please stay calm. And your arraignment will happen soon. In the morning, the judge will deal with you. I don't know which vehicle I'm going to take, though. I really don't. What is this? Is that just from that light, probably? I'm not sure if that's my light. You see how we glow with, though? My uniform here thinks dark. But, you know, my face is glowing. I don't, I don't understand. I guess that's just one of those bugs in there that they need to work on also. This guy also in jail. Please stay calm. They're almost brothers, look like it. So that's one of our jobs completed right there. Let's see if we got enough time to do a few others. 480 points. 
while she was floating there for a second. So we're gonna kind of see where the garage at. I'm gonna actually take this one is the one I actually wanted to take. I'm gonna mark, make it a marked car and everything. Since we're doing patrol officer, most cops are gonna be doing, you know, driving a marked vehicle, not a unmarked as a patrol officer. So we gotta change this a little bit. All these things that come on here. <laughs> Highway patrol. I do like that one. I think we're gonna go with that one just because. Yeah, it looks cool. And it did not switch it for some reason. Okay. That's not what we're trying to do here, jackass. See if it fixed it. It did not. I wonder why. I hate for this to take us this long. I may have to increase the video just a little bit because I should not be going through this right now. Let's just change it to the normal, normal police blues. See if it changed it. It did that time. All right, we'll do this, this one this time. I would like to do the night one. I guess the night one just doesn't work right now. I think it's broken or something, but I guess we will see. All right, so we're going to go in here and take that marks off. We actually need to come down this area or something like that. Because we already we already got this patrol area taken care of. We're try, gonna try to get somewhere else. As quickly as possible. <laughs> Unless someone really just does something dumb in front of us. Like that. If he's going straight, he's going to be going right out of the area. He's going to be turning. Looks like he got tinted windows also, but he ran the red light. It's so like a patrol officer. This is what we would be doing right here. Did he really just park right there? Oh, he's starting to flee. Where's he at? Open the door and exit the vehicle slowly. Keep out your now. hands clear Don't of shoot. your body. We completely did a lot of damage to both our vehicles on that one. <laughs> and that was a quick rest. You are under arrest for resisting law enforcement orders. Please move to the sidewalk. Please, officer. Oh, my car is completely destroyed. Uh, Please proceed with officers me to are the not police gonna, precinct. People are not going to like me. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, that, that sucked. <laughs> Man, we've done so much damage. Show me your ID, his ID and proof of see what, the, available, what was he doing? Go, Why was he trying to run? Can't outrun the police officers. You can't if you really try, but... I wonder if he had a warrant or something that he was worried about. His IDs are good, his insurance is good. Guess he just decided he wanted to run. No gun permit, no no warrants or anything. He just decided he wanted to run, I guess. Which wasn't very smart, dude. Why would you do that? Go ahead and get a I search on you. So I gotta test him for illegal. his DUI and everything. God, I did so much damage to that vehicle in mine. Let's see, switchblade. He's running because of switchblade. But I wouldn't arrested him if he 
I didn't, you know, have a reason to. I would have pulled him over, to asked him why he ran the red light, and You're probably being released for him. Carrying a switchblade with you. But now Please, no. he's gonna get from fleeing and all kinds of stuff. I don't know if I can issue anything else with him right now, but I'm escorting you to the police precinct. Yeah, we're gonna have to go back to the police place to kind of get the vehicle all right, stay fixed. Calm. I'm escorting you in the car now. The traffic get going. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. Any statement you Let make it go be through here. Or against you in a court of law. You have the right to have a competent and independent counsel, preferably of your own choice. And if you cannot afford the services of a counsel, the government will provide you one. Yeah, it's you so much damage. <laughs> Finish our searches and stuff. Yeah, it's so much damage to our view. We're gonna have to be very careful. <laughs> Get through everything. <laughs> so much damage to my vehicle. Tank. At least we got to use our weapon for once. <laughs> Go ahead and search this. Being able to search that back, I don't know why it's searching it again. I would like them to add a different kind of accent, you know search pattern so we don't keep going doing this right here I'm trying to search the first front one there it goes I mean it goes sideways and everything see if I can get a hold of it another switchblade he got arrested for it already I would double it up if I could but Well, we had a massive issue that I couldn't get my guy unstuck or anything, so we kind of would have to skip over a little bit, unfortunately. It did not work like it was supposed to. Just so you know, I got grabbed the guy, I put him in jail, but then the game and everything just decided it was going to crash. So we lost a little bit. We didn't get we didn't get two places done like we should have, considering, you know, Ready yourself to show some the time and everything that we go. have. So unfortunately, oh, we're we not going to go through support. that. Who's available? Drug dealer, I guess we could kind of do this one. I On guess we will do that, just because it's something different. Just sucks that that happened right there. Because we had two places, you know, taken care of instead of just one. But, you know, gains get bugged, and Unfortunately, that happened to be... It's kryptonite, basically. Me getting stuck in a vehicle or something like that. We got a reported crime scene that needs to be investigated. Uh, Anyone available? Busy. Please send another unit to the crime scene. We'll do that. Get out. So, we got drug dealers coming in here. Hey! I've arrived at the location and we'll start looking for the Let's suspect. see. Right there. I didn't even see us. Hands up! And of course, it's gonna freeze instead of just running like I'm supposed to. Don't make me tackle you, aren't ya? Alright. Do not Leave move! Alone. Do you understand? Get her. We should have done a tackle on that one, but unfortunately, it did not work. I have to arrest you for trying to escape from a law enforcement officer. No, don't, please, officer. She caught us walking up on her, so we had to tase her. <laughs> Go see Put what we got. Put your hands up slowly, please. I'm going to search you. Drugs, lots of it. Looks like it. Handgun, drugs, that would be felonies in this life. In this real life, that would be a felony because you have a gun and an illegal weapon on you at the same time. So let's see her ID. The 
game doesn't freeze on me again. Would you show me your ID, please? Okay, officer. There you go. He sounds so happy that she just got arrested. <laughs> and taste. See what she has. Stolen ID, apparently. Huh. <laughs> that's weird. I wonder if that's a bug or something. It's a stolen ID, it looks like it, though. See, they really need work on stuff like this. Okay. Then we're going to do a real quick look on it. I'm going to make another shot. But anyways, I think that's a stolen ID. <laughs> All right, so she's going to get issued a lot of stuff, probably. If I quit mashing the wrong buttons, that is. So, go ahead and the permit, no, unless I have one. Yeah, you're going to be arrested for a lot of stuff. The reason switch why you're under arrest first. is because you're carrying a switchblade with you. Please, officer. And also... <laughs> You had another one, handgun. I have to arrest you for carrying a gun without a valid gun permit. Please, officer. And she's also going to get charged with possession of narcotics. Of drugs. <laughs> what? And she's got all the stuff. And she's also going to get arrested for having a stolen ID on her. I have to arrest you for carrying a stolen ID. What? She's gonna be in jail for a really, really long time. <laughs> a really, I'm escorting really, you to the police precinct. really long time. All right, stay calm. I'm escorting you in the car now. Just that right before our ship ends, looks like it. This one made. did not work out as well as I hoped it would have, considering have right that we was able to do some things, but we had and if you some of the council, issues come up you you these with, right. it comp with it crashing and everything. We had a police chase and stuff like that, which I'm going to leave in there. I'm just going to explain to people that, you know, this is what happened. But yeah, we had a police chase. We chased them down, ran them off the side of the road, and started doing their search, and we got stuck in a wall, or stuck in the car, so, unfortunately, we didn't get, I didn't get the full scene of going through all that stuff, but I'm gonna say, Let's in that situation, we arrested that person, took him to jail, and stuff like that, and that's all he had, he didn't have no drugs or anything like that on him, he just decided to be dumb and try to outrun the cops, that's what I'm gonna say about that anyways. But that's about what I'm going to say about the patrol cars. I hope we can do another one later. All It'll right, probably be a little bit in. longer. Because I don't know if we'll have enough time for another shift or anything like that. Your shift is over, officer. I think that was a long time. <laughs> 40 minutes or something like that. But yeah, I think we're going to call it there because it's going to be 41 minutes long, basically, on this. But I am really enjoying the game, but they still have so much that they need to work on, especially stuff like that. A person's jaywalk. How am I supposed to see that? Through walls. They really need to work on some stuff like that. There's still so many bugs on it. It's a really good game, but they have so many. Officer, you're never really off duty. They have so many different issues and stuff that are popping up. It's just ridiculous. But I think I do appreciate y'all stopping by and watching this. 
if y'all do and if y'all feel like y'all can please subscribe and like and share this video it really helps out the channel and stuff like that i do have other videos coming out it's not going to just be all gaming and stuff like that it is my channel gaming is part of it but it's not the major stuff that i'm going to be doing i have uh, upcoming videos of me traveling and some drone footages and stuff like that of different places if you also want to see some of those drone footages and stuff like that or some photos and stuff like that I'm gonna have my link to my Instagram and stuff like that I'm gonna post pictures of the trip that we just took we took a trip down to Chattanooga and did a little uh, flying around that area one of the bridges down there I took a photo of and stuff like that if y'all want to know about those types of uh, videos and stuff like that y'all need to look on my Instagram and uh, subscribe or share or like it or whatever but I really do appreciate y'all being here uh, I hope everything goes well for y'all this week and this is the lone wolf saying thanks for stopping by and I will see y'all on the next one thanks